Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Throwback Thursday. I've got an entire case here of 2007 Upper Deck Legendary Cuts. Pretty excited about this one. Inside this case, there should be, on average, two Legendary Cut Autos. And the checklist for this product is pretty loaded when it comes to the hits we're gonna pull out three of these boxes right now and open them up and see if we can find the rest of these boxes i am planning on doing a live break tonight i hope you can join us there is a babe ruth potential autograph in one of these boxes you can see he is featured on the front there's a whole bunch of other potential hall of fame cut autos as well so in each and every box we will find 12 packs and there's going to be, on average, one numbered autograph or memorabilia card, that's a relic, in every single box. Now, this product will feature many Hall of Famers and old-time players. There are 200 cards in the base set. The last 100 cards in this set make up a League Leaders subset. And it says online that each card is serially numbered to 550 copies a piece. So this should be pretty interesting. Dave Duranga, thank you very much for suggesting this to us. If you like this product, they sell them on eBay. The cheapest one I can find is $319 per box online. I was able to sell these for a bit cheaper than that. Let's go ahead and get into these right now. We'll put these other ones off to the side and bring in Jamie Callahan for box number one on this Throwback Thursday. So folks, I'd like to remind you, if you're new around here, Hit that subscribe button. We do videos every single day. Heck, today we have two videos. This and we also did a new release of Alan and Ginter as well. And uh, I might do two tomorrow as well because I have two new products that I could potentially put in a face-off. Maybe an Alan and Ginter face-off. Maybe a Chrome face-off with Cosmic Chrome. But anyway, we do videos every single day. So I'd love to have you around to check it all out. So here we go. Just 12 packs per box. Not a ton of packs. So Jamie's going to go first. I figured we would do three boxes. Now the hit checklist, the autograph, and the relic checklist is loaded. There's no really like uh, quote-unquote fan favorite type players like you would see in archives. The checklist is quite good. So here we go with the base set from SP Legendary Cuts. There's Gaylord Perry. We've got Bob Lemon. And last but not least, we've got Nelly Fox. If you love your old-time players, this product might be up your alley. Nothing too crazy there. Basically, for me personally, I like seeing these old-time cards. But for me, it's all about the autographs or the relic in each and every box. We'll go through and we will super rip each stack here and see what we can find. One auto or one relic per box. Back in 2007... I wasn't collecting cards, so this is just another release that is new to me that I've never before seen. All right, let's see what we've got here with the SP Legendary Cuts. There's Bobby Doerr. We've got a George Foster right there. And we have our hit, and look, it's a Hall of Famer. It is a Legendary Cuts game-used jersey of Paul Molitor. And every single one, I believe it said, they're all numbered. That is 116 out of 199. A Paul Molitor game used jersey card for the first hit of the day. So we'll take that one. So that just kind of means the rest of these um, are probably going to be cold packs. Although we do have numbered cards out of 550, the last 100 cards. There's Mary Harris Jones, 283 out of 550, which is pretty cool. So this might be a good uh, Saturday showdown potential product. Bob Feller, Joe Adcock, there's Joe Morgan. We've got a Harvey Kuhn. Legendary cuts out of 550. Yet again, there is a Roy Campanella card right there. Legendary lineage, so another numbered card. A couple numbered cards so far. And let's see what else we have here. Orlando Cepeda. And on to the next stack for Jamie Callahan. So Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer and former manager of the year a few years ago. Let's see, maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky and hit a second hit. That could happen since it does say on average. I mean, there's a chance that we could get two hits in here. It'd be nice. This pack feels thicker, by the way. And uh, there is a thicker card right there. So hold on 
to your hats, we may have a second hit. That would be nice. But let's see what we've got. There's Jimmy Fox, Nolan Ryan right there. And another hit. We do have a second hit. It is a Robin Yount. So I told you the relics are good. I was looking over. They're all Hall of Famers or star, like legendary star players. Robin Yount game use jersey is the next one right there. So we got Paul Molitor and Robin Yount in the same box. It's a Brew Crew box. So, Jamie, I'm not sure if you like the Brewers or not, but... This one is right up your alley. And here comes a little promotional piece. Maybe that's the uh, thicker card that I thought. And uh, look at this, a third hit. It is a Harmon Killebrew Stitch in Time. Three Hall of Fame relics in one box. How about that, folks? A hot box to start things off. And they are all Hall of Famers. Harmon Killebrew, Robin Yount, and Paul Molitor in the same box. Jamie, there you go. That's the way to start things off. Heck, maybe uh, is it going to be every box is going to have that many? It does say an average of one numbered autograph or memorabilia card per box, and we are maybe we have a hot case here. I don't know. Good thing we have three boxes, so we can see if that box is an anomaly, if they're all going to be like this. Next up, Stephen Bertinashi, spot number two. Let's keep this hit train going. It would really be nice to find a Hall of Fame auto in here. There are Hall of Fame autos that could be found. But um, we'll see. The autograph checklist for the Hall of Fame autos also is very, very nice, as you would imagine. All right, Stephen, best of luck to you. 12 packs. We'll super rip them and see what we can find. I'm enjoying this product so far. Usually 07 doesn't really get a lot of play around here. I don't think we've opened too many 07 products. We did 07 tops, but I don't even know if we've done 07 regular upper deck. So... Steven, let's see what we can find for you. We'll rip the left-hand side first and see what we've got. I don't see any thick cards. There is a numbered card there of Chief Joseph out of 550, born in 1840. Uh, he staunchly resisted the proposed removal of his tribe in Oregon. So legendary Americans is what this uh, set, I think, is. I don't think he has any... Um, relation to baseball as we go through the legendary cards you got a wade boggs right there pie trainer and first numbered car actually second numbered card here is going to be a robin roberts robin roberts 176 out of 550 and anything else ozzy smith bob lemon and nelly fox is the last one there so steven so far we are getting shut out here and, uh, oh, man, this pack feels heavy. So I think that, oh, this pack feels heavy as well. Two heavy packs. Oh, this pack feels heavy as well. Three consecutive heavy packs. You could have three relics as well. So let's see what we've got. Upper Deck is not doing the Panini little sneak trick of throwing spacers in to stop folks from just picking up a pack and knowing there's something in it. Um, basically, when I picked those packs up, in case you're wondering, they felt about twice as heavy. And look at this, four for four on Hall of Fame Relics. It is numbered out of 199, 25 of 199. It is a Dennis Eckersley cut relic. So a very good start here with the relics. Four for four on the Hall of Famers. It looks like this may have tricked me into, it's a thicker little promotional piece. And here we go again, another <laughs> Another game use jersey. It is Frank Robinson, Hall of Famer Frank Robinson. When it was a game relic right there. So another game use jersey. And we have done it again. We have got more than we were expecting. We we're expecting one relic. We got two. And so far, every box has done that. And we'll see if that trend continues. We got a third box right here. This should be a fun live stream tonight. For those of you on Patreon, or if you're not on Patreon yet, I have 36 of these, no, 32 of these boxes that we can do. We're doing three right now. We can do them all tonight if you want to. Tim's up right now. Let's see what we can find in box number three. Best of luck to you, Tim. And this would be a really great product for a throwback Thursday with all these numbered cards. So if there's anything left over, maybe, or, or not throwback Thursday, but Saturday showdown, maybe I'll put it into the Saturday showdown this coming week. I'm thinking about doing Cosmic Chrome. I'm starting to put that together now this pack feels heavy so that's at least one potential relic it could be that thicker little promotional piece too 
There's one of those per box. This pack feels thick as well, Tim, so that's good news for you. And here we go. Spot number three. This is the last one of this preview video, this throwback Thursday of 07 SP Legendary Cuts. Let's see what we can find. And we've got, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he was a legendary player and very appreciated by most Dodgers fans. It is a Steve Garvey numbered out of 199. A lot of people think Steve Garvey should be a Hall of Famer. He is probably in that, oh, maybe like top 2% of all-time players, which is just outside of the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is reserved for the top 1%. So a nice card right there. We've got Doc Holliday numbered out of 550, another numbered card. And could we potentially have another hit? We do. It's Kirby Puckett, another Hall of Fame relic. Kirby Puckett, SP Legendary Cuts. The relic checklist here is just loaded. There is no, there's no breaking in it. It's, it's just, there's no off relics of someone that you haven't heard of before. Like, um, um, what's his name that we were pulling a lot of his autographs from archives? Charbonneau or something like that. I can't even remember. Some Red Sox player. But, Tim, let's wrap this up with box number three. Then I'll see you live tonight. And we'll be doing more of this. And if there's time left over, like, uh, we may have an auction as well, depending if there's time left over. If it's a long break, it is a school night, so I, I would like to be in bed by 1130. So stay tuned. We will see how it goes. All right, so I did feel one heavier pack, but I think it has that... Um, promotional piece. We've got a Mel Ott 477 out of 550 numbered card right there. And here comes that heavy piece right there. And I think that might be it for the relics. So that's pretty great that every box doubled the relics that we were expecting. So Tim, congratulations on the Steve Garvey and Kirby Puckett game use relics and folks we'll be back we've got a whole bunch of these boxes like i said i've got 32 of them if you'd like to participate check us out on patreon the, the uh information to buy into that is posted there right now so if you have not yet signed up for patreon and would like to participate in the break just sign up there there's a link in the description and then head on over to the post section there'll be a little toolbar toolbar or little uh, header there click on posts and that's where I post all my breaks. You'll see the information there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. And I will see you all tonight in the live stream. Good night, everybody.